That's really good. It's really good. It's like, it's really good. I feel like I'm taking a, a culinary trip, a culinary trip around Asia. Welcome to Nom Noms. Derek Nom, your culinary vacation around Asia. I really like this show. I'm a really big fan of this show. Whoever came up with this concept is just genius. Show up and I just eat food and I just blabber meaningless nothings and force you to watch me do it. Don't leave, stay, don't click away, all right. Welcome back to Nom Noms episode two. I am not looking at the camera because safe driving guys. Also legally, I have to keep my hands here and I cannot look at you in any way. So just listen to my beautiful voice. We are in Pasadena. We are in old Pasadena. There's this restaurant here. There are a ton of restaurants here, but there's a restaurant here that every time I come to this part of town, I've been curious, like, what is this place? It looks good. And I've just never had the opportunity to check it out. So I figured I have a beautiful car. I got this nice, sexy little thing, the Lexus RX. Why not take it for a spin? So we're gonna go to Bone and Kettle. We're gonna go eat some bones and kettles. That could also be the great name of like a Halloween series. Bone and Kettle. Or like a WWE wrestler, Bone Kettle. No, just me. I don't know, I just think it. Bone crusher, bone saw, bone and kettle. I'll shut up. Good old town Pasadena. Let's get some food, 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 food. Man, this thing drives so smooth. And it's so quiet. I'm talking like this because I'm trying to match the volume of the engine of this car. I just think it's magnificent. Is this it? This is not it. I think I'm lost. You know why I'm lost? Because I didn't use the navigation. I thought I would test myself and see if I'm smart enough to make it here. And clearly I'm not. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nom Nom's special edition limited series, episode number two. We are in Old Town Pasadena, and we are going to go to a delicious restaurant called Bone Kettle. It is Asian, family owned, and it has all sorts of incredible Asian, Asian fusion food. And I, hey, I love this neighborhood, because every time I come here, I just feel good. I've always walked by this restaurant, and I've never been able to go in. I've, I don't know, I just, so, I'm hungry. I hope you're hungry. Let's go eat some deliciousness. Alrighty, so I am joined by these incredible chefs right here, Chef Irwin and Chef Donna. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. And yourself? I'm doing well. I am. Uh, I'm excited to be here, but I I want to know more about your stories as well as the restaurant and the history and and how you guys came to be. Well, um, our restaurant name is Bone Kettle. We're located in Pasadena, California. Um, we opened in 2017. Um, our restaurant is based on um, Southeast Asian, which is like a lot of Vietnamese influence, um, Filipino influence, Indonesian influence, and uh, a little bit of Laotian influence, a little bit of Japanese, and a little bit of co Korean twist in it. So you took all of Asia and put it into one restaurant? Pretty much. Got it. <laughs> um, I met your brother earlier, but here's the thing. I work with my brothers, Brian and Eddie, and it's great, it's amazing. Don't get me wrong, I love you guys. But sometimes, it's not that I wanna kill you, it's just that sometimes we don't see eye to eye. How is it like working with your brother? Um, I guess it's like probably the same as if you're in the film, but you know, so we have our hard um, downtime, yeah. good time, but in the end of the day, you know, we're relying on each other. Amazing, so, and then Donna, um, how did you come into bone kettle and... I'm Filipino, mm. so I've always wanted to work with Southeast Asian. I am a fan of working with mom and pops. I feel like I'm working with my brothers as well. What was your go-to dish as a kid? It's a garlic fried rice. What? Pork belly and garlic fried rice. Ooh, that sounds so good. Yeah. Uh, my childhood dish would be a broth, probably a, a broth? bone broth. You know, okay. it's like a really fitting, comforting. Fitting. Yeah. I'm, I'm also curious to ask, like, what were your culinary experiences growing up? My culinary background is French cooking. I graduated from culinary, um, you know, French cooking school, and I've been cooking French for I think 
from 2007 until 2014, 15, I've just been cooking French and I just want to kind of, um, you know, going back and kind of touch my own cuisine a little mm -hmm. bit. And that's mm -hmm. the reason why we opened Bone Kettle. Amazing. I just love putting ingredients together and cooking and entertain, you know, with food. So I'm really excited to try the food. So what are we going to have today? Um, we're gonna have a couple of things um, that we're famous for. I think we're gonna have a dumpling, our garlic prawns, and then our ube gnocchi. Also ube gnocchi? Ube gnocchi, yeah. We'll be doing the sisig, and we will also be doing the rendang carbonara. This is truly, truly fusion at its finest. Um, I'm super stoked, and I can't wait to try the food. Okay, our food's here. I'm so excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig in. I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna go dumplings. Oxtail dumplings. See that? Wow. Ooh. Do you know kaibijim? Kaibijim is like my favorite Korean dish. It is beef rib braised and boiled and stewed and it's sweet and savory. Now imagine that in dumpling form. You're welcome. Did I get you there? Yeah? You there? Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. Whoa, wait, hold on. We're gonna do this shrimp thing here. This shrimp thing looks insane. Twice fried shrimp, garlic, peppers. Under the sea. Bro. It's like a nice little chip, a crunch. Mmm. Mamma mia. Ah, oh, mamma mia. Tiana. Next up, manila clams, right? Manila. What are manila? Are these clams from Manila? I don't know, but I'm going to assume it's from Manila. I think they said manila clams, so I'm assuming they came all the way from Manila to be here with us today. First of all, let's get that donut, that broth in there. Like, Fish sauce, oyster saucy. It's so saucy. You're so saucy. Girl, you so saucy, you clams. All right, sisig, vegetables, pork belly, and an egg. This like can't be bad. Like there's no way. But we're gonna cut open this. Ooh. Bro, did you get that on film? Did you see, yeah? Did you see that? That's, that's like food poor, 102. Ooh. 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 There we go. It's like, this could be good with rice or pasta or something. I don't know. I got a little donut. Dude, I'm supposed to eat more later. I might have to cancel. This, oh, this is the ube gnocchi. All right, we're gonna go in for a big bite. See that? Mmm. I think this is my favorite. It's so good. It's like, you know, they were saying this like home food, homey. This feels like home. Not that my mom would ever know how to make this, nor do I expect her to. But when I think of like, it makes you feel warm inside, that's it. Anybody want to try some? What a professional crew. Never mind. Everybody just like. This is Rendang Carbonara. Man, I am on my game. I got these. I got these dish names. I am giving you, I'm giving you mukbang. I'm giving you attitude. I'm giving you descriptors. I'm giving you like the, f can you taste this food? I bet you can taste this food. This is why you come to this show. Oh man, I think I'm food drunk. Okay, we're gonna cut this, this egg open. Are you ready? All right, one, two, three. That was a really bad cut, sorry. That was my bad. That was really my fault. All right, I'm gonna mix this up too. Oh, it's the udon noodles. I think I might change the name of this entire series to You Cook, I Eat. Let's just call it what it is. I just kind of show up, like, you're cooking? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay, I'll eat it. That's it, I've told you before that my stomach and my mouth, it's like, it's, it's just a receptacle and it will just take so much. Just, just give it to me. Well, let's try this, here we go. That's creamy. It's, it's, again, it's like fall apart beef with like, creamy umami-ness. What I really like about it is also cilantro in it. So it gives you a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a, a kick. 
Oh my God. This has been really cute and really fun talking to you guys, but honestly, I need to keep eating. But if you guys ever want to try some really, really interesting culinary innovations of Asia, you know where to come. It's Bone and Kettle in Pasadena. Thank you for having me. And thank you so much to my beautiful Lexus RX for getting me here safely and soundly in your beautiful Copper Crest beautifulness. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Thanks for joining us on this week's episode of Nom Noms. As I eat my way across LA, I'll see you on the next episode. So stay tuned, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment if you think I should go somewhere near you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Get out of here. I need to slurp some noodles.